Hi, it's English here. Um, I've been playing Defrag for maybe a couple of weeks now. Uh, quite into it. Uh, I used to play uh, Quake 3 or Quake Live uh, quite regularly. Uh, used to strafe jump everywhere. Uh, after that, I found Defrag, which, yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome. It's really a lot of fun. Uh, it, it, for those of you who don't know, it's a, uh, it's a modification of Quake 3. Um, in which the gameplay focuses around you strafe jumping everywhere. Uh, strafe jumping. If you don't know what strafe jumping is, you probably shouldn't be watching this. I don't know why I clicked on the video, um, but hello and welcome, anyways. Um, uh, so that's the intro, anyways. Um, so I thought, you know, let let me port the. Uh, Quake 3 movement into uh, Unity. Um, I thought it'd be a fun project, personal project, um, for me to learn a little bit more about Unity, um, learn a little bit more about the uh, Quake engine. Um, I think Quake engine is a brilliant piece of uh, software. Um, uh, for the view of you who know the Quake engine by its uh, technical name, ID Tech 3, it's great. I'll be referring to it as ID Tech 3 from now on. Um, so yeah, let me let me show you the, uh, the mechanics. Uh, so so basically, I've implemented well, I've just slapped on a simple uh, trail renderer for this uh, for this character. Uh, the character is custom coded um, using a character controller. Um, uh, this level is really simple. Basically, uh, you jump from there that pillar to that pillar to uh, this block over here, then from that block you jump to that, to the top of that block, and that block, and that block. Um, <coughs> nothing special here, no fancy schmancy graphics, uh, some sh soft shadows just for lols. Um, uh, in the top left you can see a bunch of things flicking around. Um, the first one, if you can't read them properly anyways, is a uh, rotational Y. Uh, it's just for debugging purposes, so when I rotate I know, you know, um, if the values are clamping, they're not clamping right now. You can probably see because <laughs> it goes past 360, but you know, whatever. Um, then the second one's on ground, just detects if I'm on the ground or not. I'm using the simple character controller is grounded um, value. And then the next one is uh, queued next jump. Uh, that's a feature if you didn't know existed in uh, Quake. Uh, it's a very prominent feature, very important feature to the engine too, where if you were to jump and then um, in your in your flight of the next before the next jump, you hold on space again, uh, you'll immediately bounce off the ground um, as you hit it, um, which is called cued jumping. Uh, so if, if I were to demonstrate that, I'd jump and then hold on space bar again, hold on space bar again, hold on space bar again. And so on, the cycle will continue and continue. Um, if you hold on spacebar forever, you don't actually jump forever. It only cues the next jump while you're in the air. Um, it's a very important part of Quake because uh, <coughs> uh, when when you hit the ground, there's a lot of friction uh, calculation that goes on. And uh, to negate that friction, you've got to jump uh, before the friction is calculated or before the engine detects that you've hit the ground. Uh, so that's why the cute next jump comes in handy a lot in that engine. So to demonstrate uh, the strafe jumping effect, uh, I'll just strafe jump simply over here. You can see my speed is going up dramatically, and you can see that I am going incredibly fast. Um, this is not Unity, I mean, sorry, this is not a uh, Quake um, unit. Um, so this is all custom uh, Unity units. Uh, I haven't got as far as porting it perfectly one to one the unit yet, but uh, yeah, I'll get to that eventually. I think uh, for now, you know, just one of those things. Um, you'll see if I jump normally, uh, my speed stays at about seven point two. Uh, now, if I were to strafe jump, you can see it's a very uh, uniform bounce along the uh, along the ground there. 
Now for the strafe jump, you'll notice that my speed goes up dramatically. It's about 20, 23 now. Oh, oh god damn it. If I strafe jump, uh, speed goes up quite dramatically. And you can see the uh, the trail. You can see that the, the actual uh, bounces are, are rather extended more than the uh, standard jump jumping forward. Um, <coughs> So, just to show you a little bit of what the code looks like. Um, uh, this is the entire character controller mm, script. It's almost a one-to-one -one port of uh, the Quake 3 engine. So, if I were to come over here... Um, if I go to uh, walk and move, for instance... This comes straight from the ID Tech um, repository. So I went to uh, the ID Tech um, Quake 3 Arena source code, went to code game bgpvmove.c, and down the page is a function called um, pm walk move. And this code was kind of a one to one um, port to uh, Unity. Um, you can see in the update over here I'm calling uh, ground move and then in ground move I'm doing some calculations so I'm applying friction uh, setting movement directory for when the player uh, hits the, the movement keys um, <coughs> setting acceleration of the, of the character um, this acceleration and apply friction and CMD scale functions are one-to-one -one ports as well um, so if you were to put the code side to side, they would look pretty similar. Uh, some functions would be changed, obviously, to accommodate for the Unity engine um, functionality and syntax, obviously. Um, so yeah, this is it. Um, I think it's a lot of fun to play with. It needs a lot more adjustment. Uh, the physics are based on VQ3, so it's Vanilla Quake um, physics. I haven't gotten around to making CPM physics yet because I simply don't know well I know what the differences are between the two engines I know you can turn corners a lot easier in CPM and I rather do enjoy the CPM over VQ3 um, but I don't know pro programmatically what CPM changes so I'm gonna have to fiddle with it I've heard somewhere that it locks your uh, left and right moving um, velocity to I think 30 and uh, left and right acceleration when you're in the air to 30 if I remember correctly that's only in the air though uh, so you can go around a corner a really sharp corner just by uh, strafing right and then strafing left really quickly and you're holding down uh, A for instance um, and you'll gain speed that way too but yeah this is just VQ3 so um, there's nothing special over here standard of, you know, vanilla quake physics and I'm off the edge again. But yeah, that's it. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you want to. Uh, I don't know how often these kind of videos will come out, really. Uh, if there's uh, any source uh, you guys want, I'm happy to give it. Um, it looks terrible right now, so I need to clean it up. But yeah, if you want, if you guys want the source, that's okay with me. I can send it to you. I can put it up somewhere, post the link. Let me know what you guys think.